Okay, so I'd rather be doing this at Bright Lights, but we can't, so um, here goes. Um, you may have already seen the other video, which is of me, uh, me flicking through the actual book that I offer, the, the landscape book. Well, alongside that, and I've, I've mentioned it in, the, in the, uh, the interview that I've given, you also get a box of prints, which is quite unique to me. I don't, other guys don't usually do it because they're digital only. Um, I shoot with two cameras, one's digital, one's got black and white filming. So I came up with the idea years ago to offer a book and some prints. There's sort of no point in shooting film if you don't get some lovely prints from it. So um, that's, my, that's my little area of expertise, if you like, and what makes me a little bit different from the others. So here's the archive box that you get your prints in. Set of gloves, I always say as well, maybe personalise it a bit put in some airline tickets, uh, menus, something like that. But I'll come a bit closer because it's, it's not really to show you the prints, but to show you. So there's the box in here, there are 60 um, prints. The other option is 20, uh, and then the book's included. It's a, it's a package thing, so I'll explain that when I talk to you individually. So, all dark remain. You can have some colour, but I say the archive's stronger because you've got colour in your book. So all these are darker made. These prints will, will basically last forever. They're, they're, real, they're real prints. Darker made, as I said, washed, dried, kept in this box will be great. You can put them in frames. You can take them out and put them in frames. Um, but the archive box, same as a museum box, museum board, so they will never get damaged. Um, and that's, the, that's the, the 10 by 8 prints that are included. Now, it's a little extra, and it is an extra, but People often come back for presents. There's also a package that includes some of these, um, which again, I can talk to you about individually and in person. But these are enlarged black and white prints. So, so bigger, they, they, to go on the wall. So I signed my boss them. Not sure if you'll see it. I'll try and show you up close. Let's see if you can see. So here, I actually sign and emboss the print before it gets framed. And it just finishes it off. So what, what I haven't said much about yet, and you, you will see it in the other prints, this black line around the edge is a key line. It's the actual edge of the frame. And if this went back further, you'd either see Ilford Photo or Kodak, Tri-X, blah, blah. Um, and if you see it on other images, it's 99 Point nine percent of the time in photoshopped in. This isn't. This has gone under the under the enlarger, and I've included a little bit. You can see the rough edge, and it gives it a real art feel. Um, a lot of famous photographers used to do it years and years ago, and now there's actually uh, Photoshop filters that do it. But it's not the same as a real thing. So just a selection of a couple of nice documentary enlargements on beautiful paper before we end the video. So uh, same, quite a gritty. Uh, my style's quite gritty, quite journalistic, which you can probably see better on these big prints. Um, and as I say, these have been done, the, the couples of uh, different weddings here have had these done. I've just sort of done a few extras for me to show at the, at the show, which isn't happening. So uh, here we go. This is probably the most posed picture in here, along with the next one. I. Um, yeah, I wanted the girls together, but I didn't want them all sort of in a line. So I just sort of found a nice area, said to have a chat, drink. And that's what we get. I hope these are coming across. I'm not, I'm not lining these up with the camera very well, I don't know. Um, again, the light here was lovely. What this is, I remember this shot quite well. We've done, yeah, the wedding's basically done. This is quite late on now. And the sun started, you know, started going down. And I just pleaded with the couple, David in particular, could I have two minutes? Um, because the light was so good, and we'd done some portraits earlier, but it was obviously the light was much higher, and, and you know, photographers should be looking at light all the time. And this was in between starter and main, or main and dessert, I'm not sure, when they were just sitting around chatting, two minutes, and it was done. And I think, uh, well, they had it blown up, so I think it's one of the favorites. Again, in color digital, would look great, but on, Photographic paper, even better. And that's pretty much, uh, there's, there's a couple more left in there. 
Um, but that's it. So uh, thanks for that. Hope it comes across okay. And um, hope to be in touch. Thanks.